Welcome back. You're watching Rise and Shine. It's the second of June. There's so much that happens inside the studios. To be honest, there are certain comments that goes around, and you hear certain comments coming through. And I heard Sharon's name also coming out. I was wondering what is going on. Anyways, it's the second of June, Monday morning. Looking forward to a brand new week and so much a brand new month as well. And as we mentioned, that we'll have the guest on the show. We do have an entertaining segment for the next half an hour or so, and we do have with us in the studios the uh, beautiful Nilni Aryabanth. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning to you. How are you? Very good. Nilni, talking about uh, music at large here in Sri Lanka, I've seen lots and lots of musicians coming through, and you now c coming out with your own uh, brand new single, that'll be released because it'll be us uh, showing it for the first time in a little while from now. Before we say anything much, we'll ask Nilni about what she has experienced coming into music and being there. And it's not easy to uh, survive in an industry that has so much of uh, up-and-coming artists uh, right now. How has it been, uh, Nilni? Um, actually, to begin with, uh, I'm not coming with a very good music uh, musical background. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a talent uh, of singing and uh, playing the keyboard at the same time. But uh, as I said, I have no idea. I was um, I just started to play the keyboard by ear, so I'm not going according to the music or any notifications or anything because I don't I don't know what's going on with music because I just had so much passion of singing and playing. Right. So that's how I started. And uh, whenever I sing and play the keyboard at home, my husband used to make like little little teeny tiny video clips and started uploading on YouTube. And via YouTube, I used to get a lot of uh, positive feedback, comments from all the viewers, which was pretty much encouraging. And which was like, you know, um, I was so happy to see all those coming up because I'm not a very familiar person on the industry, even though it was just small clips. So that's how uh, my husband was like always uh, pushing me that it's time for you to do something new on your own rather than singing and doing cover-up songs of other people, which is a good one. So that's how I come across uh, the music industry now, and now I am just um, I have taken a step forward to go ahead with it. All right, so talking about uh, your new single, we would like to ask a little bit about uh, as to how was the workload involved in getting it done. Perhaps uh, uh, when you started off, you've been uh, singing uh, covers and so on, like you mentioned, but uh, when you do an original of your own, it's not something easy to do. It's a big workload that you have to really do. So, uh, uh, Actually, it, it was a... Uh, opportunity of luck because my husband and uh, Nisal Gangurage, uh, the director of Audio Labs uh, Studios, used to be very good friends and still they are from school times. So um, that's the reason why he was asking me like uh, whether you want to do a song of your own where we could get some help and direction from Nisal who's already is uh, stable on the industry. So according to uh, his directions, we, that's why uh, according to his directions we took some steps ahead and uh, now on we are going on like that. <laughs> And this is not yes. your first uh, single that you have come out with. This India, is right? my first single, but like I do have cover-up songs on YouTube, which right. were different ones. Though. So I'm looking forward to come out with new songs as well. So who actually really inspired you to get into music? Was it like uh, your husband or you've yeah, been doing this? Yeah, to speak about the first thing was my husband because <laughs> he was the one who was pushing me always like because I do uh, have a different career. Okay. And uh, he was the only one who was like, Cause I, all, all I do is just sing and play the organ. So he was like always pushing me, it's time for you to do it. Even though my parents um, and also my um, mother-in-law and father-in-law, they all, with their all support, they all been encouraging me to take a step forward in the industry. So yeah, the first inspiration was be my husband. He was the first turn back point for me. <laughs> Quite interesting. And really if I uh, ask uh, go, uh, to go back in time, probably when you were schooling or anything like that, was there passion to become a musician or come out with your own songs or was it like just uh, singing in the background, having fun? Yeah, I was, I was a member of the choir. Um, I studied at St. Bridget's Convent, Columbo 7 and uh, I was uh, just a member of the choir and uh, also I have um, participated on all the <clears throat> singing competitions and stuff like that just for the passion of singing other than that I've never thought like I'll come this far like doing a video of my own and like you know singing and coming up on the musical industry so I never had any intentions of those days I never had any intention of becoming a singer at all <laughs> 
quite interesting. Very interesting. I think it's yeah. time for us to have a look okay. at the particular video that Nilan is talking so much about. And then everybody out there will probably realize what kind of talent she possesses. So have a look at this video. We'll talk about it afterwards. Wonderful piece of music, Delini. Thank you. We'd like to talk a little bit about as to how uh, the background scenes were selected and uh, the locations and so on. Um, actually, to coming up with the storyline for the song, um, I am a person who like a uh, little bit of action stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, so uh, started with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, I thought maybe just putting a love scenes or anything like that could be boring. So when uh, the person who made the video come up with the storyline, I actually um, pretty much I liked it. Uh, yeah. But it was tough though, because it's uh, it was uh, shot in Melbourne, so it was really tough. It's not like here, so you got rules and regulations of doing specific things like yeah. you can't chase people around like that. <laughs> uh, so still uh, everything went uh, everything went well. Um, it wasn't very tough, but like, uh, yeah, it took like three to four days to shot the whole thing because uh, it could be three to four minutes the whole song, but like when it comes to all these different scenes, it's behind the scenes, it's really tough. Yeah. Yeah, so it took like three to four days to finish off the whole video. <laughs> and uh, if you talk about the production itself, uh, <coughs> the lyrics and stuff like that, uh, music, uh, uh, engineering and all that, 
was it done here or was it yeah it was done here audio lab studios again uh, music was by Nisal Gangadege and uh, lyrics were by Kaushik Milinda mm -hmm. and I would like to thank uh, both of them to coming up with a beautiful song and especially with the beautiful lyrics as well Right. All right, so that's something that you saw as a video. But I think a lot of viewers out there probably want me to sing live on the show <laughs> as well. So what why don't we go for one performance? <laughs> yeah, sure. I uh, would like to sing uh, one of my upcoming songs, uh, which I'm hoping to release in like a month's time. Okay. So uh, it's called Taruka Atare. <laughs> So All right, so Nini, uh, uh, any <laughs> ideas of uh, getting a uh, video production for this song as well? So you said you will be releasing it in another one month's time or so. Yeah, um, actually I just want to um, give a break first and yes. see because um, I just want to see how I'm going to get feedbacks and comments from uh, all the weavers and then take a step forward. Uh, maybe I might just uh, release the audio first and if it goes to the top or either it depends like it's fingers crossed if it goes go, goes good then yeah I might go ahead with the production as well another video production <laughs> right. and then if I may ask now when it comes to music there's so much of genres that people talk about and your type is more or less more oriental kind of music and you have been now the song that you have released is a single song you come out with another one that will probably come out in a month or two yeah any idea of changing the genres or Going into some English novels. Um, well, uh, it's a tough one. Uh, I think um, I should uh, do what suits to my voice first, because um, like if if I do practicing and all, I I I should be able to do it. But still, I guess my voice do suits for more singular songs than the English style. So I'll 
Yeah, that's the reason why I chose to do singly songs because um, most of the time I used to I, I listen to singly and English English both, but like I think my voice goes on singly more than English, so that's the reason I choose singly songs. <laughs> so Nuri, like, uh, do you have any artists uh, who are like your role models, perhaps locally or internationally, and uh, you really uh, inspire or love most? Talk a little bit about that. Um, not really at the moment because I enjoy all type of music and I value what they have done uh, on the industry and uh, yeah, I, I, like uh, it's, I cannot say in words that and I cannot say a specific person because like all, everyone who's on the music industry does um, entertain people, that's the, that's the main uh, year of uh, music yeah. so um, I don't have any role model at all so I just want to go according to my style and uh, see how it goes and All looking right. forward to that as well Lil. and uh, if you are if I if I ask now the couple of songs that you come out with is there any background to it that has any personal experience or is it just oh, uh, not really. just because of the lyrics that <laughs> somebody <laughs> gave it to you? not really uh, nothing <laughs> personal uh, no um, no it's it's not an experience at all uh, but I reckon like uh, these days uh, people do listen to uh, all uh, the sad versions of the songs because sad endings are more popular, I guess. So, <laughs> so you want to make a difference. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're going, with, going with the mass public's opinion. I think uh, that's probably one reason because if, if I ask, uh, if you look back at the industry 10 15 years ago, it was about cassettes and then it was about CDs. That's true. But now it has changed a lot to <laughs> releasing uh, songs uh, through uh, videos on. Uh, especially social media networks and uh, that's uh, that's uh, becoming uh, that much more popular because I don't I haven't seen uh, any young artist coming out with the album as such uh, in the last few years even for the renowned ones I haven't uh, actually thought of releasing a album because I think uh, that trend of releasing albums have faded away that much what do you think of this it's uh, uh, it's tough to say because um, it's good if people can realize their talent and come forward rather than just coming and like going like that because they just come and perform and like uh, then you won't see the same person next year. That's how and it it's is. It's very true. And, and uh, yeah. yeah, because I've, I've actually sometimes new artists come up and then perhaps with one or two singers, yeah. then uh, they vanish off from the entire industry. But uh, how do you think that they can really sustain as a person who is tapping into the industry, perhaps? Yeah, um, actually, nowadays I reckon like uh, the channels have provided a lot of opportunities by. Um, doing all the talent shows and uh, all these programs which are really popular among Sri Lankans right now. So still I guess uh, people now they just because they have opportunities like those days we did not have anything like that so the, the people are really lucky these days so they can come forward and show what they got and like you know move forward which is really good so I guess people should um, try to understand what they got within them rather than just coming and you know just fading away quickly they just say, oh yeah, I have a talent of singing. Yes, I think I can do this. So if they're gonna stay on the industry, if they can last long, I think that's the that that could be the best achievement they've got in their life because it's it's not really easy um, to be in the industry because that's the reason I said like people just come and sing and it's it music is not like that. You should you should have opportunity or you should have a chance of entertaining people. If you only have that stay in the industry if not like they they have to just I guess uh, choose their own path and uh, you know just move on with the path which suits them more that's very true Dildi I think uh, like you said uh, hard work commitment is very much required most importantly yeah. to sustain in the industry because after all with a few singles even it, like you know you said uh, releasing single by single would do but then even that wouldn't count if you do not have the dedication and hard that's work true. That's right. <laughs> and Eli, if you're given an opportunity to do a duet with a senior artist mm -hmm. who would you pick Oh, <laughs> I got so many artists uh, on my list, <laughs> which I love to They're see. putting you in trouble. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it's it's a tough one because. All I right, so <laughs> we will not will not make a comment. If you're given an opportunity, will you take it? Uh, yes, of course I will. Uh, um, most likely, I would love uh, to sing with Bharti Santosh uh, because um, I love their music. Uh, it's like it's very hard to express their music from words. 
Um, yeah, so I chose them first of all. <laughs> if I do get an opportunity, <laughs> I'm not going to jump like that. Like <laughs> so I'll just, you know, wait for a while and see how it goes, uh, how I'm going to move within the industry. And if I come to a better spot one day, of course, um, I will move forward with another uh, uh, singer to do a duet. Yes. Wow, <laughs> That's good. interesting. Then, uh, <laughs> if, uh, are you looking at uh, going outdoors, performing or maybe at events or such such thing or just sticking to releasing a single and see how it uh, reacts in the industry before releasing my single Bhavana the first one uh, um, I used to perform uh, in Melbourne like all these uh, shows um, actually uh, whenever I'm getting invited I do go and perform I have no issues with that but I never performed in any shows in Sri Lanka within Sri Lanka so uh, it depends like uh, um, I might be a little bit picky but <laughs> Yeah, um, it, uh, it's, uh, uh, if I do get a good chance of performing in a good show, yeah, I will, I will do it. Yes, definitely I'll do it. All right, so time has definitely caught up with us and it's time for us to uh, wind off today's edition of Rise and Shine and we shall do that with a live song from Nelne itself. And uh, we should thank Susil also for accompanying her with the guitar and for the music. And uh, if you have thank a you final word to say it. Yeah, I just want to uh, give a big thank you for all the crew, the <laughs> Pohani crew, for having me on this uh, morning show. And also Susil for coming with me uh, for music and all my family members, my parents, uh, my husband and all my relatives and friends. Thank you very much. Good all right, and it's time Thank for so Bhutiba and I to say goodbye on today's edition with a live song from Nelly. Bye from us. Do you